Welcome back to Sleepy Hollow in Surviving the Aftermath. We have a group of survivors once again at our gates. And oh yes, a new specialist as well. Survivors seeking shelter, one child, two adults, some supplies here. And you know what I miss, honey? I can't find any bees anymore. I don't know if they're gone or just hiding. Well, we don't have any bees here for sure, but we do have a new specialist here that is quite good at scavenging stuff but also has a good high attack value here so let's accept them into our city they come at the right time because there's a nuclear fallout coming and it's imminent and they will be finding some shelter here now what i can see is that my shelters are running low so i do need another shelter here an emergency shelter for now we can replace them with other shelters then in the future and let's just have this one here with another road over there. And people can then just find something there. Hopefully before the nuclear fallout hits us. Now we do have a few specialists. Now three of them as a matter of fact. And let's see. No, it's only a minor victory again uh, against them. So he's not that strong after all. Because, uh, because perhaps we need to equip him still with some better stuff as well. Now she is um, researching here at the moment. Up here we have our Sari in the north, where she's just exploring some frozen wasteland. And now with him, what's the name of him again? Roberts. And Roberts could be attacking something. We could also just be exploring some new territories. Over here we still haven't found everything, so let's just get Roberts over here for now. So three scavengers, three scouts now. And we still need to find out how we can equip them with weapons so we can finally get rid of some of those bandit camps. Now this one here does need a new working area. And oh, now it seems my specialists are ready. Yep, she can research again. So we are now at almost 400 points, that's very good. Do we still have something in here? Nope, now it's empty, perfect. And over here, let's see, we still can, yep, yeah, scout this area there. Far away there, it must be very cold out there. And she's only wearing shorts, as far as I can tell. And down here, Roberts is also full again. Let's get him. No, he should not be reaching that though. Looks a bit dangerous over there. Yep, yeah, down here we still have something. Let's go scouting those outer areas there, very good. Nuclear fallout should be happening now any second. And what we could do or what we need to do is something else because we don't have any trees here anymore. We do need the forester, this one here. We can afford it, fortunately. We do need the hut. The hut is going to be, yeah, here. There's the hut and we should also have the workforce because we have six now ready. And the hut is then just going to plant trees. So we can have the work area here and the sawmill and the logging camp are working there then and hope. And I hope um, one forester will be enough for those two. And yeah, also this shelter here is being finished now. Just in time for the fallout. Well, those guys are now transporting some goods up here. Emergency shelter is complete. This one here, very good. And here we should be able to build this one then. Just two more planks. And then we have the forester over here as well. Right, my medical tents are ready for the fallout. Because my people are going to be sick for sure. And we don't have anything for weapons yet. Certainly not. Okay, so we do have 400 research points. So let's have a look there real quick at what we could um, research. Food is okay for now. Energy storage might be something for the battery. And then we could go for better energy production than the industrial mining. But nope, we do have some power. So I think, yeah, bartering was the important one for trading that we have now. And then we could go for the hazmat engineering so we can finally get rid of the nuclear waste. And first of all, we do need the general store. And then we can go for that. Very good. So we've unlocked quite a few buildings there. Where is the trader? There's the forester now. Unfortunately, it's only one, but fine. 
and right. That's the ah, uh, that's not a good area, right? Because there is some nuclear waste up there. That's the area here then, where both of them are working then in the future. So hopefully those trees grow quickly. And there we have it. Nuclear fallout. Boy, that looks ugly for sure. And let's just fill in those tents here. Because we are getting some sick people in here soon. Hopefully it's not lasting too long. And I'm also curious to see how many of them are going to be sick then. My specialist can do something though. Must be quite uncomfortable out there right now. Attack the wolf gang. No, I don't want to attack them now. There are some research points here again. So many research points everywhere. Out here. And she has got everything here perfect. So let's scout this area there. A diner, once again. And up here. Another... Oh, no. Explosive storage. So just tools. That's it. But very dangerous. No reason for me right now to go there. But that's it for now. Down here. We still have some new areas then that we could go for. But yeah, so far so good. Nothing important. The trader is going to be an important one. That we need to build, but I'm going to build that afterwards, after this fallout here. And no sick people yet. Now we got the first six one. Sick ones. Audrey is irritated. Irradiated. And she's being treated already. And we get the Wandering Merchant. Let's have a look at him. Perfect timing, by the way, for him. A lone van rattles towards the gate, suspension creaking under the heavy load. Greetings and salutations, my good people, shouts the driver. Can I interest you fine gents and ladies with a bit of bartering on this loveliest of days? And we could accept the offer here for... Oh, can I accept more offers? Because this is good and this is good. So... We could, we only have to pay some planks here for some research points. And I really also want to get some medicine there. Let's take the medicine offer. Unfortunately, I can't take the other one. Off he goes again. But medicine is just way more important right now. And it's the perfect timing for that as well. Since this treats my people faster. Where is the medicine anyway? I think it's at the gate. Yep, yeah, there it is. Three colonists are irradiated, so we do have the space for that though. So far so good. We can withstand. And yep, trees are coming up quite quickly. So no problem so far. Now my specialists are ready again. Still one more here. Only cloth. Then we have her again. Going down here. tools. Not that much variety in those areas. And Ripper's Lair. But no resources to be found on this one here. Those are my specialists. Once again, I really want the trader though. There's the trade center. Doesn't cost me any electricity. That's good. So the trade center might be in a good spot here actually then. At the entrance. Right, and look at my food supply here. It's totally capped up there. And it's taking quite some time, this fallout here. And I think, right, my people are fine so far. Oliver is irradiated, but that's fine. We do have the capacity. Over here we have one more. A hangar. And down here there's the wasteland. 
oh, another hostile camp. So at this point, I really would like to know how we could get rid of them. Perhaps there's something for research. Disaster forecast, frontier outpost, security. No, only the reinforced gate is here. But that's it. No weapons that we can actually get here by researching. So we either find them or we find the right specialists. Metal has been depleted over here. So my scrapper needs a new working area. And boy, does he have to go now quite some time. That's plastic over there. Oh, that's not good. There is one, but that's really far away. Abandoned property. One of the colonists rushes towards you. He says that someone spotted an abandoned wagon not too far from here. It's covered with a tarp, so they couldn't tell what's inside. There are footprints around it, but no one could tell where they lead. The colonists want to go search the wagon in case there's something valuable in it. And arm the colonists with what? Planks? Really? Okay, let's arm them. A small group of colonists ventures out to search the wagon. It takes them a while, but eventually they return. The wagon was only carrying a small amount of supplies, but that's not the worst of it. It had been pushed through a radiated zone, and a few colonists are already showing the signs of radiation sickness. Two clothes, nine fiber. That was a high price for those resources. But we do have the resources. We do have the space for them. We're not using any medicine. My specialists are ready again. Oh, perfect. An electronic store. Exactly what I want. And another one. Perfect for those components that we really, really want. Antibiotics. A downed helicopter. That is... That seems to be very valuable. It doesn't even show up up here on my resources. So it might be very valuable. It has some danger to it though. And that's the nuclear fallout. We've survived. Very good. Two medical tents were perfectly fine. Let's put them back to sleep. No one needs to do that. And we do have quite some carriers now that can work. The corns are working again. This one can work again. And right, we can have one sawmill here too. For that. Um, something else that we do need perhaps. Nope, not as far as I can tell. Now what we can do though is the trade center. So the trade center I want to build here. Kind of, I don't know why. I just want to. And then we have a road going around it. And we could have some, yeah, <laughs> large green bush. Oh, that costs me something, right? No. It just takes a bit of time there to construct it, that's all. And yeah, some decoration, why not? Beside the trade center. Just beside the nuclear waste that we have there. Very good. While we build that, let's have a look at my specialist though, once again. This one here I want scavenging those resources. She's going to scavenge those resources there. And he's going to scavenge the antibiotics. Oh, and he blew up. Yeah, he lost some health there. So we need to be careful. Did he get something? Yeah, five of them, okay. But hopefully he's not losing that every time. And there we're building the trade center. And also something else that we can build now is the hazmat thingy there. Just need to find it. Oh, there's a stature. Pathfinder stature. There it is. Environmental station makes the life safer and more comfortable by gathering polluted soil from the pollution 
deposits and con decontaminating it safely to be stored in the nuclear waste storage, which should be here then. In my storage, but it isn't. There it is, nuclear waste storage. So we need to build that as well. And here we now we have the trade center. So now we can finally go for some trading if we want to. Let's have a look there. Parts, junk, medicine, venison, an active trade route, societies encountered. Those are the deals. Let's try the parts. Okay, we're trading with them now. It's active and it takes three days of oh, almost four days. That's a long time. And we import parts with that. But what are we paying? I guess there's nothing to be paid. <laughs> and look at that. He's radiated and, and shimmering green there. Or she. That looks funny though. Let's get a mat. Because this one certainly does need a mat. And then we need to start getting rid of the nuclear waste that we have there. So we do need that one here. Quite expensive. But should be possible. And let's get it far away. Let's get it where we bury the people as well. Right? Yeah, well, I don't know. Where can you have that? Such a strange building. Where should we store the nuclear waste? It's actually a difficult decision. Even further away than the deposit, I guess. Yeah, we store it over here. So they should be building it now. The nuclear waste storage. And then... Environmental station. But it does take 12 energy. So we do need a second windmill for that. Does cost me quite some components again. Right? Can we have that here? Close to it. I think yes. I think they don't block each other then with the wind. Very good. Some more components over here. Same one here. And let's have a look at that again. Oh, perfect. This time, no problem. For more antibiotics. Oh yes, and he's lacking some wood here that we're not having. So I think we need more of those foresters then. And in the meantime, we just move him... Whoops, not that far away. We just move him a bit further away where he can do that. Over here. Same goes for this one here, the logging camp. So we're just going to say, go over here. Take the wood far away. You know, I know it's far away, but we don't want to um, get rid of all the trees around our camp here. Certainly not. Avery is now an adult. Very good. A new worker. Oh boy, plastic has been depleted. That's not good for this one here. We'll need a new one over here, far away. Quite the time to travel now, over there. Hmm? And by the way, we could also have some radio stations if we want to. So Radio Armageddon is probably not the friendliest one. Yeah, that sounds more like it. We still have some components in here, some components in here, and some antibiotics in here. Perfect. No problem so far, still nine in there that we want to get, of course. The wind turbine has been completed, so now we have more energy and also the nuclear waste storage is already being built. Now all we need is the environmental station that will probably just build. 
I don't know. Is it working with? The question is if it's if it is it working again with um, working areas, you know, because then it's not a big deal where we place it. Let's place it here for now and hope that it's working. With the work areas then. Oh no, what's missing? Oh right, okay, components. But we're getting them soon. Over here we have finished the nuclear waste storage now. At the edge of my town. Strange noises. A piece of the past. You see a person wrapped in layers of cloth, rubber and mud standing at the gate. There's a slight twitch behind their goggles as you approach. Need things. Trade me. This I know is unique. The person says and starts unpacking a mysterious item standing on a wooden card, revealing a pristine looking computer protected by plates of lead. Um, for one tool, sure. It takes a couple of colonists to lift the computer off the cart. The mysterious person accepts the food with the gloved hands. We gave him tools and piles it onto the cart. Goodbye, old friend, the person says and turns around as the computer is carried inside. I'm not saying no to some research points there. Very good. And Sari can go back now to Sleepy Hollow. That's going to take quite some time. And she's also coming back now with lots of components. And he's scavenging one more time. Perfect. Because we really need those components there. Reforestation is working. So far this one's being built. And over here now we have that nuclear storage. I just wanted to look at it. it does look very safe though. But it's an ugly area here anyway you know, on, that, on that soil there. So we can have it here. And hopefully no one sees it again. Quite fine. So I think we just need to wait now really for those specialists to come back home. Same for this one here. And yeah, one more time. Oh yeah, this time we lost some health again. But that should be it. Yeah, now we got all of it. 24 antibiotics. Whatever we need them for, I have no idea. So much nuclear waste everywhere. And I'm eager to see if we can use a work area with that one here. Otherwise, this could be very expensive in the future. But we can finally clean up the mess here around our village. And we're doing that in the next episode. Stay tuned.